aircraft you see will soon be a part of the Indian Air Force. This is the latest version of the iconic American military airlifter, the C-130 Hercules, a war horse for decades. India is forking out close to a billion dollars for six of these magnificent airplanes. But deep inside this aircraft for the Bharatiya Vayu Sena, there's something amiss. Something's not quite there. Headlines today has documents which reveal for the first time the advanced electronic equipment the US government has stripped from the aircraft, all because India refuses to sign on the dotted line of a controversial and sensitive security agreement. Could this be the beginning of a much larger game? Four weeks from now, the Indian Air Force stands to receive its newest military aircraft, an American-built C-130J Super Hercules. The deal heralds an absolutely historic new chapter in Indo-American relations. But that's only one side of it. We at Headlines today have exclusive access to the billion-dollar contract document. And what we're now going to show you is, for the first time, how the U.S. government has st simply stripped off several pieces of key technology from the aircraft, all because India refuses to be goaded into signing a highly contentious and sensitive technology agreement. This is a Headlines to the exclusive. India's newest warbird lifts off. In December this year, the Indian Air Force will be receiving the C-130J Super Hercules. India's first American-built military aircraft since the 1960s. With six brand new C-130Js, the Indian Air Force embarks on a blistering new chapter in tactical airlift and special forces operations. But things aren't all hunky-dory, because when dealing with the Americans, you've got to be prepared for hardball. It turns out that the C-130 that the Indian Air Force will get just weeks from now will be an aircraft stripped of several advanced technologies. Washington has refused to give India these key technologies because India continues to resist a highly sensitive bilateral pact called SISMOA, which the Pentagon claims will ease interoperability and security of sensitive communications equipment. Headlines today has exclusive access to the full and final C-130J contract document between the two governments, which contains the classified list of equipment that is being denied to India. The list includes combat net radio systems, encrypted identify friend or foe electronics, secure voice communication equipment, and miscellaneous satellite communications gear. Denied technologies that certainly could be useful in a covert operations environment. The Indian Air Force is putting up a brave face. They will not make a substantial difference as far as our operational capability is concerned. It's a catch-22 because the armed forces are unanimous that any communications packed with the U.S. is plain bad news. It has taken India a gargantuan leap of faith, conquering four decades of distrust to think about using American equipment again. Ironically, what it now stands to get won't be 100%. In New Delhi, Shiv Arur for Headlines Today.